Welcome to Nitro. Today, we'll be looking at how Nitro Sign Premium can ease your onboarding experience with prospective employees. Let's get started. After logging in, you'll be taken to the document portal where an overview of all your documents can be seen. To start, we'll upload our files. In this instance, we're sending an offer letter along with a policy that we'd like our soon-to-be employee to sign. Once uploaded, NitroSign will give you an overview of what the package will look like. You can also review what files are in the package and add more if needed. Our first step is to add form fields. NitroSign will take you to a preview of the document where you can navigate through the documents you've chosen with a preview pane on the left hand side. Let's add our first text field by clicking the text field button on the left hand side. Move and resize as needed and left click it to assign it to a contact. You'll need to create a contact if you haven't sent them a request before. If you have, they'll be added to your contact list which you can share with the team. Once the contact is chosen, add a field name and add any extra parameters you need to such as if it's required, if you'd like it to be multi-lined, or if there's a character limitation. Do this for all other areas of the document. Click the text field button, assign a contact, and add the options. Now, we want to add signature fields to the document. We can do this by clicking on the Add Signers button on the right hand side. Click the Sign Field element on the left and move the field in place. Click into the field to add the contact and choose what signing methods you want the customer to have available. We also have the option to add a legal notice to the signature and choose from a pre-designed template. I want to sign this document myself, so I'll add another signature field and choose myself for the contact. Finishing off the document with one last signature request. Once I've added my fields for form filling and signing, I can go back to the package overview before I send it off. Step one is our form fields that need to be completed in order to proceed. Step two is the signing aspect. Right now, both my prospective employee and myself can sign the document at the same time, also known as parallel signing. However, in this particular scenario, I only want to sign the document after it's been signed. So I'll drag and drop my signature field down to make a step three to make a sequential signing order. I can add receivers to the package, which means they'll receive a copy of the document once it's complete. as well as add extra options to the package, such as an expiry, disabling downloads of unsigned documents, and re-signing the package. Clicking confirm will send the request. Switching over to the signer's perspective, they'll immediately receive an email with a link to complete the documents. They're opened in the browser, which they can further navigate with the Pages pane on the left-hand side. They can download a version of the unsigned document and view all of the form fields they need to complete.
Once complete, click Save Fields. NitroSign will immediately let the user know that they need to sign the document. Clicking the signing field will prompt the user to review the entire document and ensure that the terms of use is agreed upon before signing. Choose the method of signing, and because we added a legal notice to the document, an extra step is required. Once the signature is chosen, all of the signing fields will be completed. After all other parties have signed the document and the package is complete, all parties and receivers will receive a link to download all signed files. Moving back to the initiators view, we can look at the status of the document as well as delete, download, or download the audit trail for this package. The audit trail provides us with detailed information for each event that took place during the process. It's also digitally signed and certified by Nitro. That's all for today. See you next time.